Hi, this is Bobo662, and this is my first tutorial on how to do a trailer skin for ETS2. I have two versions of the trailer on um, ETS2 Studio. I have the old version and the new version, and I will be using the older version for this tutorial. Okay, what you see in front of you is I have a template, a trailer template. I'm using a different mod template for a trailer. Um, it shows all sides, the two sides, the back, I mean the top, the back, the front, and then the two items here are one on each side of the bottom of the trailer next to the wheels. And I think this is the bumper, the back bumper of the trailer. Um, what I want to do is, um, this is going to be the template, of course. Um, what I want to do is go up to Layers click on new roster layer make this to a base and then I click on white go to my bucket here fill it in completely white bring the opacity down to about 60 50 percent so you can see the background of the trailer the logo that I'm currently going to be using is the Pepsi logo for this tutorial so what I do is go up to edit click on copy go back to the trailer template and then what I want to do is go to edit paste as new selection go to the right side of the trailer place my logo and then go back up to edit paste as new selection go to the left side of the trailer place my logo and then what I want to do again for the third time is click on edit, go to paste as new selection, go to the back of the trailer, and normally I center the logo between the two doors. Sometimes I put it on each side of the door, but this one I'll just put center of the door. And then what I want to do is make, make my adjustments, which I'm just going to leave as is. Go back up here to the layer, bring the opacity back up to 100% so that you don't see the background of the trailer template but you see the three logos each side of the trailer and the back door and it's completely white what you want to do is go up to save as and then I normally go to my desktop and save it on my desktop or I'll make a certain file folder for a job that I'm doing like if I'm doing for instance the Pepsi trailer I'll just right click and say new folder Pepsi so I keep all my Pepsi work in that file folder click on that go down here to the file name rename it to Pepsi skin trailer skin and then save it as a PNG and then what I do is go down oops, and go to ETS2 Studio. Click on that. Don't mind my mess, my desktop. It's a mess, but that's how I work. Go up here to Trailer Generator. Click on that. Click on Chrome Cool Liner. Click on that. Click on Trailer Skin. Click on that. Hit the Browse button. Find your skin, which I is it is in a Pepsi file folder, which is right here. Click on that, and there's my skin, PNG format. Click on that, click open, and there's your trailer skin with your three logos on each side and the back. Go to trailer properties. And normally, I think it's like six characters, five or six characters, and then a number. I normally type in like Pepsi or Pep and I'll say 01. The trailer mass weight is usually at 6700. Sometimes I up it a little bit to make it more challenging of a heavier trailer, but I'll leave it at 6700. And then I click on the tick button here on the AI traffic so I can see my trailer in traffic. You'd like to see your trailer in traffic, don't you? <laughs> anyway, so then I click on cargo and I have a list of cargos here um, I'll just click on groceries since it's a grocery item Pepsi 
So it'll be delivered to wherever it goes over here. BCP, FCP, whatever. Click on export mod or mode, excuse me, export mode. Give it a file name. I normally say B62, which is my initials. Pepsi. TS for trailer skin. Version 1.18, which is the game version currently. Click save. And then what you want to do is take that file folder, install it into your mod folder, go into game, edit profile, find your skin mod, click the tick button, apply, go into game, and then if you want to look for your trailer, go to trailer browser and click on the name of your trailer that you gave, which was PEP01, and then you'll find your trailer. And that's it. Well, I hope this will be a great help, and I don't know if I'll do another one or not. <laughs> I don't like talking on videos, so. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.